the time is now 1.38 p.m. Dr. Steiner had just stopped in to break Barbara's water. The water came out kind of green, which indicates that the baby has pooped in the water, which isn't a good thing. Leslie has, Leslie has just returned to replace a cord. We'll let her do her job, and then I'll go back to commentary right after. It's now 1.42 p.m. The clicking sound you're hearing is the new internal monitor that they've placed onto the baby. They've also placed an internal contraction monitor. Barbara seems to be handling the pain okay, but Dr. Steiner has promised that the pain's going to become much more dramatic shortly. So we'll see how long she can hold out. But when she's ready, we'll get her an epidural and go from there. We will not be showing Grandma Dorothy <laughs> this video because we're going to tell her we had a natural birth. Oh, that's right. I have in some. The time is now 3.05 p.m. The expectant mother has now had her epidural placed. That was relatively painless. She has not felt any of these contractions since the epidural has gone in. And um, those are at about the 60 wavelength. She was up about 80 a couple minutes ago, so I don't know what that means. Here's the baby's heartbeat, clearly within the red lines, which is good. Here is the slew of drugs that are being pumped into her. All the pretty lights. Do you have anything you want to add? Cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper, yes. We're going to kick you out of the room anyway. No, not if Barbara wants me in here. I'm ready. By the time she has this baby born, she's not going to want any of us in here. She's going to be kicking Dr. Steiner in the face. Actually, with her drugs, she wanted to know if she had a baby. I think mean, that's all right. Bye. Bye. Anything you want to add, Barbara? You're better. Yeah. Yeah. Top right computer drawer. Top right. Thank you. Okay. Now you can try to take a nap. Okay. Alright, we'll check back in an hour or two. Oh, Willis has phoned in. Uncle Willis has phoned in. He'll be here in a couple hours. He had to talk with the professor before coming down. He's going to bring us dinner when he gets here. We've kept everyone in the loop with text messaging. That's something that we used to do when you were a baby. And we'll check back in later. Hi, baby. Time is now 4.05. Barbara now has a popsicle. Still need to be so proud. No new developments. The CRNA came in and gave her a little bit extra juice because she was experiencing slight discomfort. Because <laughs> she could feel her contractions on one side instead of two. Here's a. Oh! Someone else's monitor came up, but there's one of her contractions. There's the baby's heartbeat continuing to stay in the good zone, right in the center. So all's going well. We'll check back in in an hour and see if there's been any new developments. This is Warren Yale signing off. Okay, it's now 6.01 p.m. Uncle Willis has shown up from Austin. We can now have the baby, so in about six hours, in about six hours, baby Henry will join us. Rebecca is also joining us tonight. She's here to be a part of the process. And there's your mom, grandma, yarning something. Me ma. Yarning something. The epidural's taken full effect. She has no idea what her legs feel like.
Oh, oh, oh. no. Mom's gonna get sick. Oh. Daddy Warren joins the picture now. Oh, baby Henry. Oh. Commentary over. <laughs> we'll be with you soon. Goodbye. The time is 6.59. We have no change in status. Barbara is alert. She cannot feel her legs. She can't even wiggle a toe. Warren's doing okay. Willis went to grab food. So, the time is 8.59 p.m. Barbara is still in labor. Here's a quick look at her charts. Her contractions appear to be about three or four minutes apart. Oh, that one's two minutes apart. The baby's heartbeat is right in the middle like usual, so that's good. We had a little bit of a hiccup with some regular that was given to kind of help her with her nausea. She's doing better now. In the future, don't take regular. We're going to take Zofran. She had kind of some increased anxiety and chills for a little bit. But she's doing better now. There's Uncle Willis and Rebecca and Mima, who's playing on our Kindle. And so we're just waiting and seeing until baby Henry's ready to come out. I'll check back in a little bit later. Bye.